Hey howdy, hey partners. Today we're gonna open up five Buzz Lightyear figures. Let's get into it. I am Socks, your personal companion robot, and I regret having joined you. You're watching Today I Grew Up, Lightyear Edition. Enjoy the review. If you would like to see some more Lightyear toy reviews, all you have to do is click the link to the playlist pinned in the comments or in the description of this video. You can also click the card here in the corner of your screen. And that'll take you to all the Lightyear toy reviews that I'm reviewing on this channel. Definitely, I'm really excited for all these buzzes. Now what makes this one more deluxe and premium is that this buzz actually comes with a jetpack and an awesome missile launch action. So that is really cool with the blaster. And there's this cool th motion when you squeeze the legs that he is kind of chopping. Kind of like Karate Chop Action Buzz <laughs> in a way, which is really cool. This is known as the Mission Equipped Buzz Lightyear. It's a little bit more expensive than the standard figures because of the action features. I think it was $16, but really good price nonetheless because you do get that gear up jetpack, which is cool. You also have that blaster, which is awesome. Whoa, take a look at this Buzz. He's seriously ready for action. I love the way he looks with all his accessories together. He's got that helmet that actually just kind of clips on and off. The jetpack's also removable, of course, and the jetpack, something I don't really like is that it just kind of goes back down like this manually. I wish there was a trigger button here you could press and then the wings could pop out. I think that would look a lot better, but he has a jetpack, so I'm not complaining. At least he has that going for him. And he does have the mission patches here on the sleeve, which is really nice. And I think he also has it on the other side. Yep, he has the Space Ranger on the other arm. He has this really cool bronze looking wrist attachment. And at least they painted the green down here. Mattel's having trouble painting some of the details that I, I like, but you know, at least this one looks good. And I love that it has the option of the removable clear helmet. And when you squeeze his legs, he does this action where he's just like punch, 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 punch <laughs> with his little missile. Buzz Lightyear to the rescue. I love that a lot. And then of course he has his missile firing action with the trigger button right there. Wow, that actually shoots really far, so that's cool. It's cool to have a five inch scale buzz with the helmet, with the jetpack. So Mattel did a great job on this. I really appreciate those details. And I think this is one of the best buzzes in five inch scale that I've seen so far. It just clips on and off, which we'll see if this works on other buzzes, but it's really cool. I love having that option. Super cool buzz. Next, we have a crystal grade Buzz Lightyear. I think these are only exclusive to Walmart because I've never seen them from a Target yet. I had to get this on eBay because I could not find it at my local Walmarts. So it's a special one. It does have a removable helmet, which is really cool, and comes with a fuel crystal. So that is really awesome, which is an accessory of that Buzz we see him in the movie. His green looks a little shinier too, which I kind of like. So hopefully in time I can find these guys because I haven't been able to find them. So keep checking Walmarts, I hear they're there. But this one's just really cool because of the helmet also. The only thing that would make this sweeter would have be the jetpack, but we'll see if some of these pieces are interchangeable. Whoa, this crystal grade buzz is awesome. The, the box does say it's Ivan, so I don't know what's going on because this is supposedly Ivan, but the head sculpt looks like Buzz. <laughs> exactly, so I don't know why it says that on the box, that it includes Ivan. So I don't know, we're gonna have to watch the movie to find out what that's about but it does come with a really nice little fuel saw here and it kind of has like this little crystal translucent effect with the clear kind of glass plastic window so it's actually very nicely detailed and it fits right in his hand he comes with this little laser gun blaster so we'll have to watch the movie to see how it works but it looks really cool also you can clip it on here on the side of his belt which i'll show you and here in the back it has a hole for the jetpack although he doesn't come with one so we'll see if that's interchangeable. I'm glad that they did include the Space Ranger logo here on the arm. I just wish they would put Lightyear over the red button and there's no mission patch on the other one, but it's a really great looking Buzz figure. Although I wonder what the heck the Ivan thing is about. So you just put it on the side of Buzz right there. And yep, it seems to work just fine. So you don't have to have him holding it. It can just holster there, which looks really fantastic. I think this looks super awesome. I really love it. Now for fun, since we're here, let's see if the jetpack from the Mission Equip Buzz fits on the back here with the peg hole. And it doesn't seem like it fits. So I guess if you attached it with something to stick it, it would stay, but it doesn't actually, it falls off. So, I mean, it'd be pretty cool. Um, it, it, though they look exactly the same, except it's missing this arm attachment, but there, there you go. You could technically do it, but yeah, it doesn't unfortunately uh, stay on. 
The Crystal Grade series also came with this Crystal Structure holographic card, which is pretty cool. It has these little holes. Not really sure what that's for. And on the back, the XL15 chip. Pretty neat looking card. I don't really. It didn't really come with directions or anything, so I don't see a way to use this. But it's pretty cool nonetheless. Here we have the next 5-inch Buzz. It's got the awesome blade, which is a really cool accessory. I love seeing that in the trailer. It's the Space Ranger Alpha Suit, which is my personal favorite because it looks more like Buzz from Toy Story. So let's get this out of the package. Also, here's some more figures that are coming out. I'm waiting for the Alpha class to get the side characters because I think that's going to be a great series. But I do also have these action figures with Lightyear and Socks training suit and XL01 Buzz. Wow, look at this buzz, so cool with his hair sculpt. Uh, it's nice to have that. We have the awesome blade in his hand. Also could holster on the side of him. Again, we're missing the light year details. At least they painted it green down here, which is really great. These things have some weird holes in the back of them. I mean, they don't come with jetpacks, so that is really confusing. So I don't know what that's about. The articulation on these figures are pretty nice too. You definitely have a lot of range of motion that you could do. He has a Space Ranger on the side, nothing on the other side like the other figures. I love the blade in his hand. They did a great job with painting that as well on the blade. And it's cool. And the gray part is also you can peg this on the side. Yep, it just pegs in on the side that way. So if you don't want Buzz holding his accessory, you can just kind of holster it there on the side, which looks pretty cool. I like it, although I think it's probably better that he holds it. And then one question that I was getting recently on my comment section was could you use the helmet from the other Buzz to fit on here? Technically, yes. It doesn't snap on, but actually doesn't fall off either. Wow, okay, so if you play with it enough, you can get it to stay, actually. Wow, that's really cool. So yes, you can add the helmet to this Buzz with hair, which I actually really like the look of it. It's really cool. I might keep it on, actually. Next, we have the XL01 Buzz. We get so many suits in this movie. It's very cool, and he also comes with this fuel cell thing. So, it's very cool to see the front of the package. Really nice. The back is pretty much the same, and let's get him out. Awesome! XL01 Buzz Lightyear in the 5-inch scale. Nice details on the chest. Kind of reminds me exactly like the 12-inch figure. We get a blue uh, fuel cell this time, but it's just kind of like a printing of a crystal, not an actual crystal in there. Very nice detail sculpting. I really like it all the way around. Weird peg hole in the back. We get the side mission patch there, which is nice, and nothing on the other one, but it looks really good. Also came with this amazing helmet with a translucent face a shield there. It looks really great, and it just slips right on Buzz. I really like the attention to detail and painting on this one. Okay, so we're just going to slip the helmet on Buzz like that. Couldn't get it to click or anything, but it does stay on his head. So that is pretty cool. That's what it looks like. I think it looks more complete with this suit. Definitely a nice accessory. Buzz looks really great without the helmet accessory as well, but that's a really cool option to have. And my personal favorite, I really, besides the Space Ranger Alpha suit, I love this training suit of Buzz because we see that in the trailer with the blue suit and socks, which is really nice to have in small scale for a five inch line. And I'm really impressed with it and I really love it. Let's open it up. And what a fun figure this is. Buzz Lightyear holding socks. Really great articulated action figure. I really love the way Socks looks in Lightyear's hands. Super cool. I love the hair head sculpt. Looks like it jumps straight out of the trailer for me. I think it looks really good. His hair is probably stylized the best here. He has that weird peg hole in the back again. I do not know why, but, you know, it's a minor complaint. I think he anybody could have a jetpack then if you really wanted to. There's a mission patch on the side, which is really nice. And he does have the colors here on the front. The only thing that's missing is probably the actual light year word on his tracksuit. Not really sure, but that is interesting. Look how adorable this tiny socks action figure is. He can go beep boop, beep boop, beep boop, beep boop. His head does articulate 360 and look at those green eyes. Nice and bright and shiny, which is actually nice. The collar is there. We do have some awesome articulation in the tail. The tail does spin 360 and all the legs go forward and backwards, which is pretty cool. So you can have socks flying through the air or you, yeah, you can have a lot of uh, fun probably standing up socks or have it being held by Lightyear. So that's really cool. And I like that they did a lot of articulation for such a small action figure. I wish they would have painted the paws a little better or the white on the tail, but it looks really awesome. 
Now the articulation applies to all these uh, figures. I, I went through them. So to save time, they do go up and down slightly. There is side to side motion. The arms do swing out, kind of like the 12 inch. They have elbow joint articulation, nothing at the wrist, hands are fixed. Uh, you do have uh, waist articulation, which is nice. You do have a uh, great leg articulation, rotation at the boot and articulation on the knee joint. Doesn't really go back too far, but it does go all the way forward. So you do have that motion. So all these figures do that, including the mission equipped buzz, even though it does have the action feature on the legs, it actually still articulates the same. So they all have awesome posability and they all have the same articulation. For fun, here's a look of the giant brand new 12 inch Zyklops that I got, the 14 inch Zerg. The, actually, I think this is seven or eight inches. I have to do the review. That is something I'm gonna do at another time, but look at the size difference. It looks more like the movie to have a giant scale Zerg with the five inch buzzes, because I think it's more true to the scenes from the movie. And it's really cool to have different options of sizing of the Zyklops or the Zerg bots, which are really cool. And I think this looks amazing as a collection whole. They look really great together. Let me know in the comment section below, what's your new favorite Lightyear figure? So far, I love the five inch line because it does scale with our giant Zerg figure, which is really, really cool. Now you really can't go wrong with either of these Buzz Lightyears. The Space Ranger Alpha Suit's really cool. Each one does something different. This one comes with a blade accessory. This one comes with the laser gun blaster. The cool thing is that the helmet was removable, so I was able to put it on the hair version of Buzz. So you do get accessories that you can swap out, except for the jetpack. The jetpack only fits on this Buzz, unfortunately, but you know, it's a small price to pay to get the upgrade. It's worth it to get the jetpack for a five inch Buzz. Because he has that action feature with squeezing the legs, it's a pretty cool punching motion. I do enjoy that. I like the missile launcher. I do love that you get the helmet and the jetpack, which so far is the only five inch scale Buzz besides the one that comes with the giant ship that you can get. So I recommend you get this one. It's a more premium one. This one's cool because it comes with a blaster, also comes with a helmet. This one's cool because it comes with a blade and it's actual hair sculpt of Buzz, which is really fantastic. And the XL01 Buzz is really cool and unique and special. And of course the training suit with socks is my personal favorite besides this one. So I think my favorite one is this Buzz and this Buzz. These are cool too, but I feel like these are my favorite five inch scale. But now you know what's out there. I do have another Buzz five inch scale coming that looks like this one that comes with a giant XL15 chip, so you don't wanna miss out on that review. We're on our way to 100,000 subs this year, partner. So if you wanna help support my journey, all you have to do is hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, so you later for future videos on this channel. And I'll see you partners on the next video review. You want the real Buzz like you, you're, a, uh, you're an action figure. You are a sad, 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 strange little man. You are a sad, 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 strange little man. You are a child plaything! Hey, Ham! Look! I'm Picasso! I don't get it.